Hey everybody. Welcome to my Facebook Live. We've got a big announcement today. And as you can see, we've done a little work here on the podcast studio. This is a, a quarantine project that my husband and I have taken on since we've been sort of stuck at the house. My husband's a projects guy. And so he took it upon himself to watch all kinds of YouTube tutorials about how to make your videos look better and how, and he built all of this. So behind me here is, uh, as you can see, is some beautiful shiplap and some, uh, some little background things that we've designed. And so we are, we are gonna, this isn't the big announcement by the way, but we are going to be changing the podcast format into video format. So if you are used to listening to the podcast audio only, you will still be able to do that. You'll be able to listen on all the same platforms you always have. It'll be available on SoundCloud and iTunes and all of those platforms. But there will also be, starting in June, uh, an additional option to be able to uh, watch the podcast Via video. So I've already recorded three episodes that will be coming up starting in June. So I've recorded a video episode with Neil Shenvey, I've recorded one with Clay Jones, and I've recorded one with uh, Greg Kokel, which is actually a two-parter now. And so I'm using whole, I'm using new software too, so I'm kind of distracted looking around. I can see your comments right here. Thanks, Brandon says it looks great. Hi, Donna. Hi from Minnesota. So glad you're joining us today for the big announcement. So, so this is sort of the first little part of the new stuff that's coming uh, along. So I'm really excited to show this to you because we put a lot of work into it and invested a lot in it as well. And so that is the, the, the first little bit of just the, the announcement that's a sneak peek on what the new podcast will look like starting in June. I still have uh, a couple more episodes to air that are audio only and already recorded. One that I'm super excited about with, I uh, recorded it with Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap Podcast. I'm really excited for you to get to hear that one because I spend so much time defending the Bible and the reliability of the Bible and the manuscripts. Hi, Leah. Hi, Nancy. And uh, it's so neat to just sit down and talk with someone who teaches the Bible. So Tara Lee Cobble has a wonderful podcast called The Bible Recap. So you'll get to hear my podcast with her. You'll get to hear the second part of my podcast with Alan Schleeman on everything related to uh, LGBT issues and biblical sexuality. And um, hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Krista. Elizabeth says, love your setup. Girl, what camera are you using? I don't know. I'll have to ask my husband because he set this whole thing up. Honestly, this is insane, all the things that he did. Hi, Paul. Hi, Shane. I'm so glad that you're all here to join me. Okay, so let's just get into the big announcement here because this is... I think it's a big deal, but I want you to hear my heart about it because um, these things can be, for me, tricky. And and what that is, is that I have resisted monetizing the the ministry. Like I, I don't have uh, ads under my blog posts. And uh, as of yet, I haven't uh, monetized YouTube, although I'm working toward that. Hey, Jorge. Yes. Okay. Let me just say this because Jorge's here from Worldview Media. Um, as I've resisted monetizing though, the expenses keep growing as I've prayed about what to do with the ministry and what God has for the ministry, it takes a lot of investment. So part of that is that I've hired this amazing social media team called worldview media. And I'm sure you've already seen all of the beautiful branding and all of the gorgeous posts that they have begun to create for Facebook and for Instagram. And I would love to even go to the next level with them. Uh, and so uh, as you can see, they've branded with colors and fonts. This back here uh, is my new logo. And so what this is, is a design that we, we've talked about 
what our images are for, for what this ministry is. And as a ministry that really focuses on progressive Christianity, the roots of our faith, the history of our faith, we decided to go with imagery of roots and trees. And so this is actually kind of a modern take on roots. And uh, as historic Christians, as we are trying to be rooted in that most primitive form of Christianity and carrying that through history, that's us kind of shooting up out of the, the roots. And so that's sort of the meaning behind the logo. But my husband and I had the logo carved into uh, a metal shield with the little light behind it. So, so that's what you're looking at when you look behind me. So again, I've hired this amazing social media team. I'm still going to be active personally on Facebook and Instagram, but sometimes you'll see that they're interacting on posts and, and helping me out with that. And they've just been, obviously, as you can see, they've been amazing. Also with my growing mailing list and expenses like the equipment, you know, they're, they're growing, the expenses are growing. And so my goal is to not only be able to cover the expenses that I'm already incurring, but, but just to keep taking things to the next level, to give you content that you can share with your friends so that you can get the message out to more people in your spheres of influence. So the big announcement, here we are, is that I have decided to do a Patreon page. And if you're not familiar with Patreon, Patreon is uh, an organization on uh, the, the uh, great wide web where you can actually partner with me by uh, kind of pledging to give a certain amount per month. And for each tier or each level of the Patreon membership, you get uh, certain additional things. And so I'm going to take you over there to show you what that's going to look like. So if you want to go to patreon.com slash Alisa Childers, this is what you're going to see. And uh, so essentially you'll find this landing page here with a description of the different membership levels. And so I want to walk you through each one of these membership levels because uh, this, this is something that I want to have my fingerprints all over. I think this is a, a great way. I'm not just viewing this as just, oh, a way to monetize or something along those lines. I'm really seeing this as a way that you and I can partner together to get this message out to the world, to get this out to a lot more people. And so there's a lot of different options uh, that, that you can sign up for. And so the, uh, the first tier right here if you can see my little cursor, you can, is the $3 a month tier. And so that's the lowest tier. So just for, for $3 a month, you can gain access to a monthly ministry video update, okay? And that's for patrons only. So you are the only people that will be able to see this video are the people who sign up to support on Patreon. And if I scroll down, you'll see here that I've already posted the ministry update video for May, and it's about nine minutes long. And in it, I uh, just talk a little bit about what's going on in the ministry. I talk about what's going on in my life and in my family. I think this is a really good place that I can ask for prayer requests. It feels like a safe place to ask for you to, to please really add me to your prayer list and with specific things that you can be praying for me and the ministry for. Uh, and then as a fun little thing for this month, I shared uh, three or four books that I'm currently reading and what I think about them and if I agree with them, if I like them. And so that's this month's video. So everybody who signs up to support on Patreon will get access to that monthly ministry video update. Okay, so let's go over here to tier two. This is what we're calling the exclusive patron. So for $5 a month, you get the ministry update video that you would get on tier one, but you also get early access to all the content that I will release on my own website. So if I write a blog post or if I release a podcast, you're gonna get that at least three days early. And so, for example, uh, next week will be part two of our discussion on biblical sexuality with Alan Schliemann, and that's still audio only. But if you sign up for this $5 tier, you will get to listen to that three, at least three days early before the public gets to. And you can come on the Patreon page and comment what you thought about it. You'll be able to comment on SoundCloud. And so for $5 a month, that's what you'll get. 
Now this next tier is T3. This is the VIP patron. I thought of all these names. I hope you like them. <laughs> but for, for uh, $10 a month, you get everything you get for tier one and tier two. So you get the monthly ministry update video. You get the early access to all the content that I'll release on my own website. But then, and this is what I'm really excited about you guys, you're gonna get access to a private Patreon only Facebook group. And this Facebook group, I will do every month an interactive Facebook Live where I will take questions. Uh, I'll even post early so you can uh, ask your questions uh, in a comment and I can read them or we can interact live during the Facebook live stream. And let me just tell you why I'm excited about this Facebook group. So there are a lot of Facebook groups on the internet. And there are a lot of Facebook groups that even discuss things like progressive Christianity, and they're great. I'm members of some of those, and, and a lot of them are just terrific. And I've even been asked to be an administrator on certain groups on Facebook. But up until now, I've declined those invitations because I really want to focus my time on what God has me doing, and, and I want to just stay really focused on, on what it is that God has for me to be doing in my ministry. I don't want to get distracted. And so what I'm seeing this Facebook group being is something that is a real community building type situation. So I plan on interacting quite a bit on there in the comments. Uh, I want you to come on in there and post things that you're seeing on the internet that are relevant to the message of the ministry, whether it's relevant to historic Christianity or progressive Christianity, or maybe you're trying to figure out this blog post you, you saw and, and we can analyze that together. What I'll be posting in there periodically are messages and comments that I receive either through my website or I'll pull a comment off of uh, my ministry Facebook page and we can analyze that together. So even right in front of me, I have the first comment that I'm gonna post in that group, which comes from someone who emailed me basically saying that this person believes the Bible has a lot of contradictions. And so if the Bible has all these contradictions, how can we say that God doesn't contradict himself? And so I think that that is a great place for us to come together as a community, to analyze these things, to figure out how to communicate truth to our friends that might be sucked into some of these ideas. So again, that's for the $10 a month tier, and that is something that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna really take the reins of that personally and be really involved in that. So that's the $10 tier. Now, the $15 tier, this is the, t uh, the tier for what we're calling the all access patron. This is the sweet spot. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is the one where you are gonna be getting so much great stuff. So you get everything you get on all the other tiers. You get access to the monthly ministry update video, uh, early access to all the content that I release on my own website. You're gonna to get to be on the Facebook uh, page, but also this is, and I've already started recording these, you guys, and they're so fun. So I'm going to be releasing bonus content that only people on this tier and above on Patreon will be able to access. And so, for example, with Neil Shenvey, when I recorded my video podcast with him, we took about 10 minutes and did this lightning round of rapid fire questions. Just some of them are so dumb and some of them are funny and some of them are just really personal. What is he reading? Does he like coffee or tea? Various things like that. Uh, so there may be something along those lines with each guest that I have, or maybe it'll just be an additional portion of conversation that we had during the podcast. Maybe it'll be outtakes. Maybe something really funny happened that I wouldn't normally put in the, the generally accessible video podcast, but I'll save that for you guys. Sometimes I might just upload something of just me with my kids. I've got already this great video with my eight-year-old son asking everybody to subscribe to, to my YouTube channel. Apparently my eight-year-old is quite impressed that I have a YouTube channel. When he found out that I was a YouTuber, he, uh, he, I might as well have just told him that I was a famous movie star or something. He was so excited. So he wanted to record a little something. So there's just gonna be little things like that, bonus content that will only be accessible for that tier four and above, the all access patron. All right, two more tiers. So tier five is what we're calling the gold patron. And so this is, I think tier five and tier six are for people who really 
they just really want to support the ministry. And uh, they just, they feel a call of God to help and to support. And so that's what tier five and six are. So for $20 a month, of course, you get everything that you get on the uh, other tiers. But you're also, when you sign up and pay for your first month, you're going to get a signed copy of the Mama Bear Apologetics book that I contributed two and a half chapters to. And, and so you'll get that right off the bat. But throughout the year, uh, I'd like to be able to send you little goodies and gifts. And so that might be, maybe there's a book that I read that just really impacted me. And I just decide I want to buy that and send that to all the tier five gold patrons. And I might do that. I might just send you a book and maybe we can talk about it on the Facebook page uh, or something along those lines. Uh, hint, hint, I have a book coming out in October. So if you're signed up on this tier in October, you're going to get a signed copy of my new book. Uh, so just little things about three to five times a year, I, I'd like to send out a little something, whether it's a handwritten card, uh, some kind of book that's really impacted me, or maybe some kind of digital content that's just for you. So that's tier five, the gold patron. And then finally, tier six, right here, the platinum patron. So this is $50 a month. Again, this is for people who just feel called by the Lord to support the ministry. We have uh, about $1,000 per month expenses at this point. And I actually, that's going to go up because I'd like to go up in uh, work even more closely with Worldview Media so that they can create even more content for the ministry. So I'm seeing growth in a lot of ways. And this is, again, what I've been uh, praying about and just feel like the Lord's been, been leading me to do. So if you feel led to be a part of that tier six, that platinum patron, you will get everything everybody else is getting, uh, but you will also get uh, your name acknowledged. So it, it's not on this book because that's already turned in and finished, but on future publications, I'd like to list your name in the acknowledgements as a thank you for being a ministry partner that has really helped to to get this message out to the world. Uh, I'd like to make a page on my website where I acknowledge the platinum patrons who are contributing every month to make sure that that this message gets out. And as much as I've, you know, like I said, I've really resisted monetizing because I just didn't, I didn't want that to be an element. But as expenses grow, it just becomes more obvious that that it it takes money to get the message out. It just does. Things, it, you know, the expenses are growing, and obviously, as we've invested in equipment and things like that, um, that keeps growing as well. So those are the patron uh, Patreon tiers. I would. We've already got a couple of signups, and I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to see the Facebook community start to grow. And uh, so that is the big announcement. We are on Patreon. So you can be a patron. You can partner with me to get the message out. And that is really what we are committed to using this money for, is to get the message out to more people. We want to reinvest back into the ministry via uh, taking out ads to get blog posts and even to, to get the book into the hands of more people. So we want to be responsible with the finances. And uh, I just want to thank you for considering uh, being a part of this. Uh, so I'm going to take a few questions and I see one here from Tim. I'm getting to the party late here, but just curious, are these amounts tax deductible? That is a great question. I don't know. So I will find that out. And when this Facebook Live is over, I'll come in, in the comments or if someone else knows who's familiar with Patreon, if you can let them know. My guess is that it's not because I'm not a nonprofit officially. So, uh, but I will find out for sure if if that's uh, something that, that we can do. So let me... Uh, See here, uh, Chanel has a comment. Exciting. Thank you, Elisa. Can New Zealanders support your ministry? I'm fairly certain anyone can sign up through Patreon and, and support that way. Although uh, it did occur to me that someone might just want to do like a one-time donation, something along those lines. And you cannot do that on Patreon as far as I understand. But what I will do is I'll put a PayPal donate button up somewhere and I'll let you know about that. So if people want to support with just maybe a one-time thing, they can do that uh, and that would be great too. So 
let me see if there, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments and I will see if I can answer some for you. So Olivia says, I'm 18 years old and your content is so awesome and it's really helped me grow in my knowledge of Jesus and the Bible. Olivia, thank you. That is my goal. That is, that is why I'm doing it and that is why and that just encourages me so much. I praise God for that. Jennifer says, you have to be an official nonprofit for donations to be uh, tax deductible. So there you go. Uh, so they would not be tax deductible at this point. Uh, thank you, Joshua. Uh, Pris, uh, Pris works with me with Worldview Media. She she comments on, uh, on the page and shares content on the page. So get to know her. Uh, Amanda, take all my money. <laughs> This is exciting. This is great. Okay, let me see if there's any more questions. Uh, oh, Lynn, what's the name of your new book? Well, guess what I can do with my fancy schmancy new software and I can show you the book cover, not just give you the title, but I can show you the cover. So this, my new book is called Another Gospel, A Lifelong Christian Seeks Truth in Response to Progressive Christianity. It's actually available on Amazon right now. And uh, yes, I think Pris just posted a link so you can go right to Amazon and pre-order it. It's not coming out till October, but essentially the book is very memoir-ish in that it tells the story of me coming from a fairly strong faith, walking through doubt and deconstruction, and then reconstructing back to a historic faith. So it's very story-driven, but along the way, I address the movement of progressive Christianity, their beliefs, they're uh, essentially what they're teaching and answering those beliefs and those opinions from a biblical worldview, from a logical perspective. And so uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this book. I pray that it helps a lot of people. I love this cover. My, my graphics team at Tyndale is phenomenal. Everybody at Tyndale has been, been phenomenal. Uh, but I love how they have the title, Another Gospel. And then as you see, as it goes down, it gets watered down. Mm, like the imagery there, because that's what we're going for. Uh, so that's my book, Another Gospel. Again, you can follow that link to Amazon if you want to take a look at that. Uh, let's see here what else we've got. Let's see. Cannot wait. Thanks, Jorge. Killing the live stream. Doing my best. <laughs> uh, Tim says, any future plans of a children's apologetics devotional? I want to get my young girls engaged and planted in knowing what they believe and why. Tim, that is a great idea. I think that a children's apologetics devotional is a phenomenal idea. And that is something I would definitely consider uh, either writing or working with someone on. I think that is phenomenal. I've even thought about even a fa just a whole family devotional that just walks through some some apologetics uh, that would be phenomenal. Uh, Christina, so blessed by American Gospel and your contributions. Thank you so much. Love your podcast. I've been sharing with other sisters. Blessed by what you do. Thanks so much, Christina. Uh, Sasha, excited about this. Hey, Sasha. We'll talk to Logan about how we can support your work's made a difference in my growth as a Christian and my parenting. Thank you, Sasha. That's a very sweet thing to say. Chris pre-ordered one as a gift. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Well, let me see if there's any other questions. And if not, we will sign off. But don't forget, go to patreon.com slash Alisa Childers. Look at the different tiers and see if there's something that you feel led to sign up for and contribute to the ministry. Uh, Sarah says, I missed the beginning. Where will the video version of the podcasts be available? That's a great question. Just Facebook or YouTube. So what will be happening with the video podcast is once uh, we switch over to the new format, like I mentioned before, you will still be able to listen audio only on all the platforms you're already used to listening to them on. So you'll be, uh, be able to listen on SoundCloud and on iTunes. The uh, video portion will be on YouTube. So you'll be able to, to watch the videos on YouTube uh, for the video portion of those podcasts. So that, that will essentially be like the YouTube wing of the, of the podcast. So if you're on YouTube, it'd be a great idea to just go on over now and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when those, uh, those podcasts are released to YouTube. And honestly, guys, if you could do me a favor, as I'm trying uh, 
you know, to be, to be a good steward of the ministry that God has given me, and I'm working toward monetizing YouTube as well, you have to have a certain amount of watch hours in order to monetize on YouTube, and I'm getting close. So if you wanna click over, I've put all of my old audio uh, podcasts on YouTube. Obviously, they're not video yet. You can only listen. But if you wanna go over and listen to those on YouTube, that will help me get my watch hours up so I can convert that over to uh, to monetize that as, as well. Um, Helen asks, will you be at the NCCA Apologetics Conference in Charlotte in October? I won't, Helen, I'm so bummed. Well, I'm, 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 it's bittersweet because I will be, uh, as of now, if coronavirus doesn't you know, continue to, to make things cancel, I will be at the STR, the what used to be called the Rethink Apologetics Conference. They're changing the name. It's the Youth Apologetics Conference, but it's the same weekend. So I'll be at that one uh, instead. So um, just discovered you from American Gospel. You have a new friend from Sicily. Oh, that's great. Hey, Bonnie, thanks for that. And uh, Julia, do you know a good devotional on the book of Ruth? I don't, I don't know a good devotional on Ruth, but the best sermon series I've ever heard on the book of Ruth was Alistair Begg. And if you go to the Truth For Life podcast, I'm pretty sure you can put Ruth into the search bar and there is no one that preaches Ruth like Alistair Begg. So there you have it. Uh, all right, everybody. Hi, John from Torrance. Paul, thank you. Hope your tears fill fast. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Paul and his brother Peter have a ministry in Switzerland where they do a very similar, it's called the Daniel Option. Check it out. They do a very similar thing that I do here and they're doing it there. And so they're great uh, partners in ministry as well. So everybody, thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for listening, for considering, pray about it, see what the Lord leads you to do, but go to patreon.com slash Alisa Childers and hopefully we can partner together. Uh, Tim Barnett, Mike Winger, great to see you guys on here as well. And uh, anyway, thanks everybody. Check out patreon.com slash Alisa Childers. And I really look forward to partnering with you. I think this is something we can do together to get the message out to the world. So God bless you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.